What happened to the colonists and aliens? So during this movie, the story leads up to where Ellen Ripley awakens from hypersleep after 57 years. And later on, she is employed by the company that found her. She takes her place aboard the space station while having nightmares of the alien she fought on the Nostromo. During this time, she learns about how Whaley Nutani has started terraforming planets, and in the process, they have sent down plenty of families with workers that took part in this procedure. They were all sent down to the planet LV-426. When they lose communications with everyone on LV-426, the company asks Ripley to assist the colonial marines as they investigate the situation. But as the story unfolds, we learn that the majority of the colonists were captured and taken to the high for incubation. Now, there were some small details left out from this event that were not explained in the movie. These events were later explored in a comic book about Newt. The story picks up right after Newt's father is face-hugged and taken back to base. There's a scene where Newt watches her father die after being implanted with a xenomorph embryo. They even send in their own security team to investigate the growing hive, but they get killed off. Then, the aliens make their way to the facility and a lot of people get killed and taken away to the hive. The survivors try to barricade all the entrances and Newt's mother gets a hold of a gun to protect her children. Then, as the facility becomes an unsafe area, the security staff try to move the civilians to a safer place. With more xenomorphs being born from facehuggers, the survivors stick together until the colonial marines arrive. As the aliens begin to enter the facility, Newt's mother carries her children away, and in an attempt to save them, she pushes them into the ventilation system, but she gets killed by an alien, and Timmy grabs the pistol dropped by his mother and shoots. The alien's acid blood sprays onto him, and he is then picked up and killed by an alien as well. And due to her small size, Newt used it as a benefit to fit into places the aliens could not follow her. She runs away and learns to hide and survive alone, watching the xenomorphs from safety as she learns the pattern of when they patrol the facility. And this leads up to the events when the Colonial Marines arrive on LV-426. So what did you think about that short story of the survivors and their last stand on LV-426? Do you think they should have included that part into the movie? Let me know your opinion in the comments section. Now for myself, I would have liked it even though it was a short amount of footage. Now if you want to see more videos around the Alien Universe, then have a look around my channel as I've covered many topics across the comic books, movies, and video games. Thanks for watching. My name is Carlos, and I'll see you in the next video.